Now for some health news as Americans are living longer, more cases of Alzheimer's disease are being diagnosed. Up to one third of elderly people in this country are at risk or are currently are living with this form of dementia. Sciences are not all in agreement on the cause of this terrible disease and recent studies are adding to the list of potential risk factors. Our medical expert Dr. David Winter, of course, joining us from Baylor Scott and White Health uh, with this live report. Dr. Winter, what is the latest in Alzheimer's research? Yeah, to short, two new risk factors or potential risk factors have been identified. One is not too surprising, high blood pressure. We know high blood pressure can infect the blood vessels, make them not work as well, and the speculation is that poor circulation of the brain may add to Alzheimer's, may be a risk factor. The second one has to do with cholesterol, and surprising to me, it's not the LDL, the bad cholesterol, it's the good cholesterol. Mm. High levels of the good cholesterol seem to be identified with folks with Alzheimer's. Now, we know that if you have high HDL, high good cholesterol levels, you have less strokes, less heart attacks. They seem to be protective. So maybe it's the fact that people are living longer because when you're older, you're more prone to get Alzheimer's also. We don't exactly know yet. More research is needed. Speaking of that research, uh, with what you have, though, what other medical conditions are associated with Alzheimer's? Yeah, previous studies have shown that smokers have increased risk, heavy alcohol drinkers, Folks that have obesity, diabetes, and aren't very active physically, all those things are risk factors. Now, which are the most important? A lot of research is going on right now. A lot of research about the causes, about how the mechanism that, it, that makes the brain not work as well, and also about treatment. So exciting time right now. We don't have good answers yet, but more, more news to come. Oh, also a new study says that cannabis may be bad for your brain also, Tashara. Wait, we talk about marijuana or, or weed or whatever, you know, some folks call it. Is that what we're talking about and that may be bad for us? <laughs> yeah, now it doesn't cause Alzheimer's, but a study came out and said that the regular users in the teenage years have a three times increased risk of depression and suicidal thoughts. That's concerning. We're also being told by the vascular surgeon they're seeing an increase in peripheral vascular disease. This is when your blood vessels don't work well in your legs. They cause cramping when you walk, goes away when you rest, and can lead to amputations. That's typically seen in older people, but younger adults now are reporting to the vascular surgeon with these type of symptoms. So we got to figure that one out also. More research is needed here in addition. Okay, but I hope folks are listening. All right, I want to shift gears just a bit and talk about springtime outdoor hazards. What are you advising in regards to mosquito illnesses? Yeah, mosquito, mosquitoes, boy, they're, they're pesky. And usually they don't cause serious illness, but they can. Thank goodness we don't have much malaria in this country, but you've got West Nile virus, you've got dengue fever, Zika virus, a usual condition called chikungunya. All four of those were present last year in America, and those can make you very, very sick. Now, you need to be aware that mosquitoes are most active in the early morning hours and the late evening hours. That's when you want to be real careful and use a lot of bug sprays. And this is curious Mosquitoes seem to be more attracted to women. I've seen this myself. I get outdoors with my wife. She gets surrounded by mosquitoes. I don't get very many. The reason is, is smell. So women smell better, and it's all about using these fragrance and perfumes, which you might want to cut back on, Tashara, if you're outdoors. When you smell good, the mosquitoes are attracted to you. So it sounds like you just want us to stink when we're going out for a run or something like that, Dr. Winter. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Well, Dr. Winter, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Good to be with you.